Hey there, Kure here. Let's talk Classroom of the Elite, episode 7. Nice episode for Ayano Koshi. Manabu is stepping down, and this other guy seems like bad news. But after that, Ayano is minding his own business, gets approached by two people, Katsuragi and then Sato. Katsuragi seems like a nice guy, no shady business. He warns him about Ryuen and Sato. She's interested in Ayano Koshi in a couple of ways. For now, she just wants his number. And Kei is there like, whoopee! <laughs> she seems like she's ready to take out the competition. Well, not really, but she has to be sure of what's happening. So she bugs Ayano a couple of times on the phone. Nobody got expelled in the last test. So they are all happy. A first for all of class D. But wait, here is more. Another test. <laughs> Paper Shuffle. This one is good. I already know about it. It's gonna be great, but no spoilers. Even if you are an anime only, with what you know up to now, you should imagine the possibilities here. We have some moments in the class. Sudo getting all excited and Horikita being down boy, down. And he immediately sits. Then they ask Kei about pairing with Hirata. And she's like, hmm, uh, she's thinking about Ashano, I think. And Sato, you know, you can tell that she wants to pair with Ashano. One of the best is when they ask the teacher, what if they ask a question that no one can answer? And this Chad Koenshi says, ha, I like to see them try. <laughs> and I have no doubt that he would be okay. Then before the meeting, Kei is all close to Hirata, but when she sees Ashano, she kind of moves away. We learn a little more about Kushida. If you don't really know about it, it makes you think how she destroyed that class. After all that, we have some Ryuen moments, and this guy, he's great. Pretty cool antagonist. We have all class C terrified of him, and just by looking, he found out about Manabe who was the traitor, and he has no problems with equality here. <laughs> then at the meeting at the cafe, funny how Ashano asked Sudo, are you keeping up with the plan? Nope, not at all. <laughs> he just wants to get out of the way and let the other people solve it. And Kei tells him, oh, you finally learn how things work. And you know he has grown a little at least because he doesn't go crazy. And in the end, we have a little chat between Kei and Ashano. She's a little worried about things and is there making a coffee. Nice moment. <laughs> but again, at class, the pairs have been decided and what a coincidence. You know what happened. Okay, good episode. Setups for a couple of things, some background, a little more character development and cool things to come. That's all I got for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, a comment if you want, and see you in the next one.